Welcome everyone. So there's a lot of content out there about the Thrustmaster Airbus Officer Pack for a $220 set containing an Airbus side stick and throttle quadrant. But what if you don't have room for a full HOTAS setup or perhaps a $200 peripheral is just outright unaffordable. Luckily, you can purchase the side stick on its own for just $80, less than half the price of a combined set, and it can be picked up and used on your lap like a gamepad, with no need for a permanent place on your desk. But what's it like flying with the side stick alone? Today, I'm going to demonstrate just that. First, we'll take a look at the mappings on the ground before we do a flight, just to get an idea of how much functionality you can squeeze onto this one side stick. So on the right hand side, we've got flaps up and down. Just next to those, I've got my trim up and down assigned and to the left of that we've got the arm spoiler button and also the parking brake toggle. On the other side of the pad I've assigned barometer set to this button here and then the one below it would be our landing gear if we were in the air which we're not but we'll see that a little bit later on. Heading up top to the MCP, I've got a button set that increments the altitude up and down and to the left of that we're incrementing the airspeed up and down. These are all my personal assignments, they're sort of the ones I use most often, but you can obviously change them out to suit. Although the throttle has marked detents on this side stick, that's not actually the case, it's a linear 0 to 100%. So I've assigned 0 to 100 on this throttle axis here, and for the reverses, I'm just using the sort of secondary trigger there, where you hold that down and actuate the throttle to apply a reverse thrust, increment it, then just release the trigger and bring the throttle back to idle when you're done. I've assigned brakes to the primary trigger, so this is a digital trigger, not an analog one, so the longer you hold it down for, the more brake force the sim applies, which works just fine for taxiing and is coming to a stop on the runway. So we'll do a quick demo flight with this side stick, so we'll bring the throttles up to flex. So like I say, there's no detents and it's obviously not as precise as a massive throttle quadrant, but you still get a lot more control compared to a gamepad or a keyboard or whatever. So, as you'll have seen in everyone else's review, the stick works brilliantly, the twist rudder's great, and I don't know if they've changed the weighting of it to feel more like an Airbus, because I think this is based on uh, the T1600 or something, isn't it? But it feels great to fly with. So, we'll put the gear up and use the red autopilot engage disengage to turn the autopilot on, bring the throttles back to climb. I'm using the second switch on the stick as an auto throttle disconnect. Obviously you don't really use it in an Airbus, but it comes in handy in the Boeings. So we've reached the top of our very short climb here for our demo flight, so use those gamepad buttons to bring the speed back to an approach speed. And then we'll just increment the flaps to suit. As a quick note here, you can see a hat switch on the top of the stick. I use the left and right for looking left and right, and the up and down I'm using to cycle through my preset views, which is super convenient. So with the flap set, we'll put the gear down, I'll turn the plane around, and we'll fly an approach with the side stick. So on approach about 300-400 feet, use the autopilot disengage, and then we'll just start hand flying it down. What I like to do when I'm above the tarmac, especially in sort of crazy real world uh, winds like this, is I just bring the throttles back to idle quite early and just sort of glide it down so I don't end up floating or bouncing or anything unpleasant like that. And then as soon as we touch down, bring that nose forward and using that primary trigger there to slow down. I'm not using the reverses here because I'm literally flying it with one hand and holding the camera with the other, but ordinarily you'd be using the uh, secondary trigger and your reverses to slow the plane down. Hopefully this video has shown that this cheap $80 flight stick not only looks the part, but is also perfectly adequate for all kinds of casual flight sim, and especially in an Airbus. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and take care.